Hey everyone, this is Homeschool Arcade, helping homeschool educators thrive. In this video, we're going to be talking about the phylum mollusca. It is the largest marine phylum and it contains about 23% of all named marine animals. So make sure you click subscribe and the bell to get notified of all our videos as they come up. The phylum mollusca contains animals commonly referred to as, well, mollusks and it is the second largest phylum of the invertebrates right after Anthropoda. And it contains around 100,000 different species. Now, creatures such as snails, slugs, octopi, squid, clams, scallops, oysters, and mussels all belong to this phylum. Now, mollusks are extremely diverse, both in size and structure. The smallest mollusks, known as micromollusks, can have an adult shell less than one millimeter long. While the largest mollusk, the colossal squid, can get up to 46 feet long and weigh over 1,000 pounds. And some mollusks, like clams and oysters, have a simpler body, while others like squids and, and octopi are much more complex. Now, while mollusks are common marine creatures, they're also found in freshwater and terrestrial environments. And the gastropods, or snails, are the most numerous type of mollusks. In fact, they account for about 80% of all named species. And because mollusks are so diverse in size and complexity, there are only a few features that all mollusks share with one another. And part of this is due to the fact that, well, the classification process is a complicated one. And you can check out our video on that if you'd like to learn more about that. Now, first, I'll talk about the shared features, and then discuss a few other unique features that are found in just some of the members of the phylum. So, we're going to cover three features which they share. And first is this. Well, yet again, like many other animal phylums, they are bilaterally symmetrical. Secondly, they have soft, unsegmented bodies. They also thirdly, have a mantle, which is like a fold in the body wall. Like in shelled species, this is the body part which secretes and creates the shell. Now inside the mantle is the mantle cavity, which holds some of the mollusk organs. Now some other notable unique features that are present in certain mollusks include the presence of a foot, which is a muscular organ used for anchoring the mollusks to a surface and for locomotion. And in some species, there are tentacles in place of a foot. And some mollusks have a structure called a radula. <laughs> I like that word, radula. This structure, which is used for feeding, it's often described like a toothed tongue-like organ. Mollusks also often have one or more valves or shells. Now check out this week's FYI. squid. They are about 10 inches in diameter and about the size of a soccer ball. Just their eye! This big! This is my eye, guys. Ah, that's so crazy! Wow! <laughs> this is how big my eye is! I'm a colossal squid! <laughs> Now, there are seven existing classes of mollusks found in many different environments. And we're going to take a look at what some of these look like. Let's check it out. Next, let's talk about mollusk ecology and how they interact with the environment around them. Mollusk feeding habits are just as variable as their size and their shape. Some like clams or snails are herbivore, grazers, and, and, or they're filter feeders. And while others like uh, the octopi and squids are carnivores and predators, they all play an important role in food webs and the environments that they're a part of. Now, humans and mollusks also have a long history with one another. Mollusks have been an important source of food for humans for thousands of years. And some of the mollusks 
that are commonly eaten include clams and mussels and scallops and squid and oysters in the United States. Uh, shellfish industries are found all over the coastal regions and in 2016 alone U.S. shellfish farmers produced get this 37 million pounds of oysters 10 million pounds of clams and 900,000 pounds of mussels that's a tasty seafood bar now there's also many goods that are harvested from mollusks most notably, this includes pearls and mother-of-pearls, which are often used to make jewelry or for other decorative purposes. We also see them being used for dyes and sea silk and chemical compounds are also harvested from certain mollusks. There have even been some societies that have used mollusk shells as a form of currency. So, I'm, I'm doing okay over here. Now, some mollusks also pose a threat or are a nuisance to humans. In fact, all octopi are venomous, but only some pose a significant threat to people. One group of small octopi found near Australia, called the Blue Ringed Octopus, have a venom that is about 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide. And some snails are also venomous and can sting, although many of the species are too small to harm humans. And some mollusks, especially slugs and snails, can be a significant agricultural pest. So hopefully as we talked about mollusks, I, I hope you've enjoyed this video and learning a bit about the phylum mollusca. And watch out for the next lesson in our zoology series where we will learn about the seventh out of nine major animal phylums, the phylum Arthropoda. So don't forget to click subscribe and the bell and follow as we have new content coming out all the time.